what? We are in Hawaii. We're actually in Maui on this very special trail that apparently you can only enter with four wheel drive. And we're taking the tops off. So George is very, very excited. I ran into a fellow sniffer who has never actually sniffed a bird. We're gonna take care of that. She's on this hike. This is Becky. Hi everyone. Becky from I Love Becky. We're gonna tell you a lot about what Becky does on this trail. Right now, George is extremely excited because we're taking the roof off and going off-roading to get to the trail. I'm excited because this looks like the Jeep from Clueless. That's all that matters to me. Yeah, so if we flip, you need to have your seat. Why the heck would we flip, George? Because <laughs> it just happens sometimes. No, it doesn't yeah, happen we sometimes. We're, I'm things, not going on this road these with things, you. These, these control the George, roller. we're not going to flip. Put that in your head. We're not flipping. I'm just saying, look at the story you're creating right now. This is you're not gonna an off-roading expedition, George. I'm not filming the entire off-road. Well, uh, why not? Do you want me to go outside right now and get you coming up? I'd, you want to? Yeah, I'd be more than happy to get the <laughs> out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's the bird I've been looking for! <gasps> yes! Please do tell us which fern that is. Hold on, I'm having a moment of not remembering which one. Oh, it's um, Kalamoho Laulihi. What is the irony? that we are finding the fern I've been looking for, the fern of innovation, right before we're going to like, he's gonna like plow up this hill. Wow. This is the first meeting she's having with the fern of innovation. Is it speaking to you? No, no, it talked to me. It spoke to me. Like, it was like, hello, look over here, look over here. So do ferns know its friends? Because I didn't, it didn't speak to me. Once once you start to get to know them, yeah, they start talking, and then you start seeing more and It looks more. more like sage to me. We interrupt this off-roading experience to sniff some ferns. Guys, just to fill you in on what's going on, Becky is a fern... Fern believer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, fern believer. <laughs> that should be your channel. I'm a fern alchemist. She's a fern alchemist. Tell us what the ferns do. Uh, the 103 Hawaiian ferns all have principles that are attached to our emotions. They're not attached is the right word, but that um connected. Connected, yeah, they're all connected to our emotions and they help us to be able to heal on really deep levels. And so now she's finding a fern she hasn't found before. I'm so, so excited, I can't even think. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. The fern and her. So, what do you do now? Do you actually take time. a piece of this and you actually collect? When I'm told, right now I'm not being told because we're right now we're in the time between the new moon and the full moon. So between the Maoli moon and the Kulu moon. But I thought you didn't want to believe in moons. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm correct. But there it's still the amount of illumination mm -hmm. from the sun is what is what I'm following. And that makes sense. And you can see it based on the moon. Is it possible for you to take a piece of an actual fern and grow it somewhere else? Are you allowed to do that? Would it be surviving if yeah. it... I would wait for the plant though to give me the word to be able to do that. So maybe we can just... So if I... If I took... find another version of it somewhere. Well, we're gonna also find some other ones that I haven't met today. I haven't... Oh, where'd that come from? So apparently we're gonna meet some other new ones too. But just right this, now... This there fern are right now is... Too. It's just getting to know her and he doesn't know if he wants to go home with her or not, you know? It could be like, you know, just a situation that is a high bye. It could be like, oh, let's go home. Let's have some fun, you know? Let me do let's, this. let's fern together. Let's fern together. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Let's together. What is that? That's divine sexuality, Oali'i. This one. Who's that? It kind of looks like wild. It looks like um, Kilau Pueo. 
Is it a new one? No. If you took the other fern that you just met home, what would you do with it? <laughs> well, um, at this point, because of the, where the moon cycle is, um, I'd probably sleep with it. Oh. You, and then what? <laughs> That's it. Gonna... And it would work through me as I slept. Just under the pillow like? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. But sometimes I'll take them and I make dream catchers out of them and put them up above my bed. So they dry out like nicely? Mm -hmm. And the technology is Guys, it's raining on me because the roof's open. And we're in a cloud, which is pretty exciting. They're not as soft and fluffy as you would imagine. They're actually see-through. <laughs> also, we found a new place Becky has told us about for donuts for George. You should have like a character that's like the donut monster. So Becky, a long time ago I asked my dad, what's his favorite name for a girl? And he said, ah, oh, you know I like that name, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm like, you do? Cause you don't even know how to say it. <laughs> okay getting more and more difficult. I think we're about to get soaked if you don't get us out of here. We're going. And we don't know, we cannot see the road ahead of us. Oh, uh, it's blocked. Oh my God, we've reached the dead end of the trail. No, you're not opening that, George. Guys, we're not going in there, okay? George! Ever occur to them that stuff is closed for a reason? What? I like this. I don't think it's a good idea to hike this. Why not? What do you mean, what's wrong with you two? This is what it's all about. Yeah, we gotta explore. We gotta go into the great unknown, unknown cloud. Area, no Does cloud? that seem like a good idea? We're in the middle of a cloud. Yeah, it's yeah the cloud will move. I live in the clouds. <laughs> yes, and you, that you might statement actually I would get a agree with. to see a rainbow in the cloud. George, Ooh. if we see a rainbow in the cloud, it's gonna be one of those full circle ones up here. Why are you turning it around? I'm gonna turn the car around just in the case, you know, we need to bolt out and something happens, you know? If anybody chases after us or whatever. Oh, wonder. Listen, I don't think this is the best idea. Let's do it. Hey, Marla. Yeah? If you wanna go back, just letting you know. Really? Just in case. Like if you want to get back, you know, it's like if you want to turn around and go back. You don't say. Not the kind of hike I had planned. <laughs> Just so you know, where I got to have my own personal tent. It's raining. I don't know how they're doing this. Look at that. They're in a cloud. How you doing, baby? Good. Came to check up on you. So is it over? You can blame me and everything and you guys will be really happy. <laughs> okay. You had to have wanted out of this rain. There's no way. You guys are not normal. <laughs> well, you're Hawaiian and you're just, who knows? Whoa. We made it just in time. Just in time. Look at that. Now you have to off-road in the rain, but be very careful around here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Fern Believer and the I'm not even wearing shoes, these Hawaiians, man. So I'm looking at all of these um, olis. Mm -hmm. This is divine sexuality. Oh, look at all the spores on the back. All of those black little dots are the formation formation of the spores, and that's where the DNA and the um, the memory of the plant is stored. And you can activate it, and it can help heal you. Is that a new one? Possibly. This is the one that I met for the first time when we were up on the hill. Oh, okay, cool. Do you want to take it to sleep with you tonight? Oh, I, it gifted me one. And it did? When did yeah. this happen? Um, when In the pouring rain, when you thought you lost me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. That's amazing. Yeah. George, good news! The fern, the earlier fern that she had just met, it gifted her a section of it earlier in the pouring rain. Oh, it told her that she can take it? Yeah, a piece. Oh my oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's in the back seat. <laughs> okay, so she can now take it to sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. 
And then it'll tell me stories in my dreams. No way. Okay, yeah. I bet those stories though are kind of important. Yeah, because then it helps me to remember the, like who I am. What'd you find? Yeah, I found Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Guys, we just may have found a new fern, so we're really excited about that. Did you take a piece of the new fern? No. Why? I didn't. I didn't take the fern because, oh no, I have to go back and it'll contact me later and then I'll come back. But right now, um, we just met and we have created now a in-person relationship together and then now I have to sit back and So that means you're gonna actually go back to that exact plant? Not necessarily. It, sometimes once I see a fern, I'll start to notice that it was everywhere. So it might bring me back to a different pod. So not necessarily that section. So you just established contact mm -hmm. and now what do you hear when it calls you back? It depends, it depends. Sometimes like I have a feeling of like an emotion that's coming up or a life situation, all of a sudden I hear her go to Poli Poli. And I'm like, go to Poli Poli? Well, why am I going to Poli Poli? And then I get up here and literally the fern is like, hi. Oh, so it's not like you hear the fern and you know which fern is calling you. It just tells you to go to a certain it's like place. Mother Nature talking to her. It depends. Sometimes it's that exact fern, like Kalamoholali'i, the one that I found today, the first one, the little one. That one has literally called me up here, and it's very fascinating that it called me up here with you guys to meet it for the first time. But it has been calling for a little while. So what does that mean that we called at you when we were here? That it's the fern of innovation and you're teaching me all sorts of new things and how to be innovative with my life. Like bringing me together with other people to show me how innovation is in oh the God. real life. Yeah, because like, now you see us and you see that we probably are what we are online too. Oh, absolutely. Interesting. But I had no, I had no question about that. Oh, okay, cool. That, that wasn't the question. <laughs> <laughs> that the, the authentic truth shows through. I'm wondering if it's calling you then to make a channel or uh, uh, Instagram or to reach out to other people. Uh, I think you might be onto something. That's what I'm thinking it means. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, we had the most fun day with Becky. And check out her Instagram. I love you, Beck. I love you, <laughs> Beck, to find out more about the fern life. Cause I'm now a fern believer. That was so much fun, Becky. Thank, Thank you. you. George, you have fun? Lots of fun. Yay. The Jeep had fun too. It was a great and, a, and one of the best experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you guys. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yalla. <laughs>